What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com, back again with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday, October 24th. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter. Sign up at Stochastic using the link in the description. The promo code TIPOFF24. Get everything we have on the NBA side for a single dollar all the way until October 29th. Cancel at any time. Worst case scenario, you're only out a buck. Definitely click the link and go check out everything we have. Luka Doncic is on the outside looking in of my top five. He looks fantastic today on this four game slate, but I've got five guys ahead of him. Who are they gonna be? It's time to find out. First up at number five, I'm looking at Derek White. 6,600 projected for 16 points, five assists, four boards, two stocks. Has a pretty decent matchup as the Celtics go from facing the Knicks to facing the Wizards. They're 13 point favorites in this one in Washington. It's gonna be an absolute bloodbath. I think this is just going to be a very easy spot to get to white. I like the price tag, should be incredibly efficient, is going to meet basically zero resistance on the offensive end. But I like him because he's so sneaky defensively. I expect the Wizards to cough it up a lot. They're not all that talented on the offensive end. Derek White is one of the better guard shot blockers in the league and has no problem at all poking around, getting some steals. Very happy to see Derek White in at number five. We're paying up on this one for Nikola Jokic. And I don't think anybody's gonna be all that surprised to see this name. 11K, projected for 26 points, 13 boards, eight assists, and two stocks. He's going to fill the stat sheet. And the matchup for him today is absolutely perfect because OKC doesn't have Isaiah Hartenstein today. They don't have Kenrich Williams, who approximates a center from time to time, although a small one. They don't have Jalen Williams with a Y. Not a lot of center out there other than Chet this spot is great for Jokic. OKC is going to have to do some really interesting things defensively because clearly Chet can't do this one one-on-one. -on -one. So someone else is going to guard Jokic and Chet will likely be on Aaron Gordon is my expectation. Maybe that means that Jokic ends up with like 14 assists today and a little bit lighter in the scoring. That's going to be totally fine. We just want to get to Nikola Jokic. I love this matchup without Hardenstein. Also happy to go to Boston and get the guy that went absolutely nuts on opening night, and that's Jason Tatum, 9,300, projected for 28 points, eight boards, five assists, and a stock and a half. The only thing that gives me pause for going to Jason Tatum today is the fact that some of the Celtics were talking about how when they play teams that suck, like the Wizards, they just try to get Peyton Pritchard and Sam Hauser and the other guys involved because they know they're going to win, and I'm not surprised by that. I would be shocked if they didn't bludgeon the Wizards today, given the talent gap between both teams. And I expect Jason Tatum to do a lot of that damage. He could quietly do a lot of that damage too. And on a four game slate, it's not like he needs to exceed his median by something super crazy like he would have on a 10 gamer. So even though I think they might not necessarily get out of second gear against the Wizards because they don't have to, I'm still going to the best player on the Celtics. This one is definitely subject to change by the end of the day, but at number two, I have Malik Monk. He's 5K, projected for 13 and a half. I got a little over four and a half assists, about three boards, maybe a stock. His minutes are up in the air. He's a weird guy, especially on this team now where DeMar is here, so you've got another shot creator that you didn't really have before. So him closing is now a little bit different because... If you already have Fox and you already have Sabonis and you already have DeRozan, does Monk closing have that same vibe as before DeRozan? I don't know. Normally, Malik Monk was a self-fulfilling prophecy. If he was going really well early, he was basically a lock to close and play those extra minutes. Now I don't know if that's the case, so I might just have him a hair too high, and that might, might be why we're seeing him in at number two. I like him a lot in this matchup, but the minutes are definitely a question mark for day one, whether that's Ellis or Kevin Herter or whatever they're going to be doing in mixing and matching these guys in the guard spots. But for right now, I think Malik Monk looks pretty damn good at 5K. In at number one, with no surprise to me, just kidding, very surprised, Kyrie Irving, but 7,500 lets you know exactly why this is happening. Projected for 23 and a half points, just under five boards, just under five assists, just under two stocks. I really like the matchup. I think this is a good spot for him. 
This is uh, I'm not super worried about the San Antonio Spurs as a team this year. Yes, Victor Wembanyama is going to improve their defense. Uh, Kyrie Irving is going to be able to get to whatever spot he wants to on the floor. The shot can fall. He's going to have a big, big day. So we already mentioned Luka in at number six. Kyrie coming in at number one. It's it's just uh, there. I like this Dallas team. I, I like the fit of Clay now. He can be just this floor spacer for Dallas that really helps out because while PJ Washington will take threes from time to time, not exactly the best three point shooter. Having Clay out there alongside Kyrie and Luca really changes the game because you not you can't ignore him. He's gonna be running all over the place looking for threes. So whether that's extra assists for Kyrie or just extra space for him to get in the lane, I'm expecting big things. And at 7,500, makes it really easy for him to pay it off. So Kyrie Irving is your number one contender. That'll do it, folks. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday, October 24th. It's going to be a fun one. NBA deeper dive at 5 p.m. later tonight. Don't miss it live on our YouTube channel. And you should sign up for Stochastic using the NBA Tip-Off 24 promo, which you can get by clicking the link in the description. Good luck, everybody.